Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm here with a with another tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do some graphic design work sort of like this where you can where you have the text behind the actual object or graphic or person in a photograph. And you see here uh, this this sort of layout is commonly used on magazine covers where you have like you know the headline or the name in the back and you might have the celebrity standing on top. And I actually saw this on a billboard not too long ago. It was a, a billboard for American Idol, and it had the artist playing in the front, and it had the big words "Tonight" on Fox, and and the word uh, "Tonight" was in the back of the 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 person there, the artist. And I thought that was a cool graphic, and I I, I see it a lot, but I never really take the time to actually um to to do it. And so I just wanted to to put a tutorial together on on how this is done. So it was very easy. It involves a few steps, you know, the, the vector pen tool um, and uh, just a little bit of work there, but it's very easy. So let's let's get started and show you how to how to do this. The first step is you get your graphic. I actually pulled this graphic from from ISOC photo. This is a stock image. It's not a real artist per se or or someone famous, but just a stock photography. And um, so you get your get your image. Step one. Step two, you get your text. I already have my text made up for me. So you just put your layer your text on top. It's that simple. On where or you know, you position your text where you want it to go. Okay, you can lock that into place if you want. Go ahead and grab your graphic, select your graphic, copy, and then you're going to paste your graphic on top. So now you have two of the same images. And all you're gonna do is bring that one, bring the top one to the to the top here. Okay, that's it. So now you have sort of like a sandwich. You have two graphics. You have your text in the middle. Okay, so then go ahead and lock your lower graphic there. So then with this top one, just sort of uh, lower the opacity just slightly, let's say to about 80, just so you can kind of see where the text is going behind. So now the next step is you're going to grab your vector pen tool right over here. Now I'm working in Adobe Fireworks just so uh, you know. And uh, Adobe Fireworks CS3, you can do this with any Fireworks or any graphic tools that have this vector pen tool and masking ability. So grab your pen tool. Now you're going to, let's first let's zoom into this area here. So now grab your pen tool again. So now we're just going to create a start with your with your mouse just start clicking you know click 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 start clicking around the shape of the person's head in this case he has cool hair so I'm gonna uh, sort of um, sort of kind of start outlining his hair so all I'm doing here is just clicking with my mouse just you know you, you drag you click drag click okay so when when you don't you don't have to be too close where where the text is not showing oh, I'm sorry let's go back over here I'm just uh, doing undo undo here so you just want to kind of get close to where his his hair is showing Okay, and so you're going to do this. Let's see, do that. All you're doing is clicking now around the person's the person's face and person's you know uh, portions of the body. Now, to to be really precise, you might want to spend some time, uh, kind of really get in there and get really detailed. Kind of uh, go really slow with it to to uh, to where you're really you're really uh, close to that person's 
head or whatnot. So once you're done with that, go ahead and fill your object there. So basically you have this object on front, okay? Let's zoom out. So I have this object here in front of that sort of outlines his face. Now I can select my graphic. Let's now raise the transparency so that there's no transparency. So I select both objects now. Select this one and the image. I go over to modify. Now I'm going to do is group as mask. Boom. So what it does, it's masking this portion here and then showing the rest of the object, the rest of the graphic in the background. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I can uh, then move my text around where I want it. Grab some of my other text. Let's just see here. Just kind of finish it off. So, in case you're doing a, a, a flyer graphic or, or um, some uh, brochure or album cover website, you know, this is a cool technique graphic that you can use. Why you're using the pen tool, let's, let's, if, you, if you go over here and you select the sub selection tool, let's zoom in a little here. You select the sub selection tool, you can select your vector object and you can select one of these points and move the points to wherever you want them to kind of even out you know the jagged edges if, if you will you know what I mean so so it's really uh, it's really cool effect and this is done in fireworks alright so that's that's a tutorial using the vector pen tool, a graphic, and and, and um, you know masking, the masking effect, and just sort of uh, where you get the, your text behind the graphic. So that's it. If you if you like this this uh, tutorial, uh, shoot me an email or not shoot me an email, but just comment, rate, please. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be posting tutorials and tips like this on a daily basis. All right. We'll talk soon. Hope this was helpful. Get me back. Look out for more videos. All right. Bye.